are we that extraordinary nation? Are we that real exceptional nation? Is there such a thing as American exceptionalism? And, and I say, absolutely there is. How do you account for what we've been able to do? I don't know that there's been any nation in the history of mankind that's been more blessed than us. And we've got people from all over the world that have come here on a set of ideas to make the greatest nation on the face of the earth. From my perspective of, I guess, actually growing up on the farm and then being in Washington, it looks like to me a lot of times that Washington is trying to plow a field with a combine. They are not equipped to do what the states or the people are supposed to be left to do, and yet they're trying to do it and doing a bad job of it, and it doesn't work. My dad's 82 years old and still farming full time, uh, and he just, he just goes. And that's the one of the things that I think prepared me as much as anything on the farm was it just, you got to go and you got to push and you got to keep going on forward. Sometimes in politics and in policy making, it takes that as well. You just got to keep going at it. Your plan has to be right, but you got to keep going at it and consistent with it. America just needs to get back to who we are. We don't need to become a Europe. We need to just be America again. And that's this nation that is a shining city on the hill, that does believe in itself, that does say, we have been blessed to be able to be a blessing to many others. It's the foundational unit for our society and it's one that's under some of the most assault. So I think we in public life have to really emphasize it even more in our own, our own personal lives. There was a time of life for me uh, when I was involved in public service, when I was walking away some from my family, thinking, well, I want to save the world and then I'll double back and pick my family up. And I did that for a little period of time and that just, that's horrible. So family is central, uh, that's first. I, and that's what we want it for people of America, is for their family to be a central piece of their life and first, and not to set them aside for anything. Uh, we've been creating jobs this last, uh, last two and a half years, substantial number of jobs, and we're getting growth in areas that we haven't had for a long period of time. Cutting our taxes has been a huge reason of what's been helping and improving the Kansas economy. Zero taxes on LLC and sub S pass-through income. Zero, no taxes. Uh, better than Texas. But at the end of the day, when you can see something start to work and you got more jobs showing up in the state of Kansas and you've got more people being helped that are on Medicaid, uh, and they're getting their lives put back together, you can kind of sit back and just go, you know, that's what I do this for. That's what this is about, is helping other people. The, the change is coming and it's starting at the states. The answers are not in Washington. And Republican governors are truly driving America's comeback.